Hello, today we're looking at series and parallel circuit. This topic normally appears in year seven and a curriculum. We, in this PowerPoint, you will be looking at how to know what is the difference between a series and a parallel circuit. So, write down what you think is the main difference between a series and a parallel circuit. And if you pause for a few minutes, you may be able to write down what you think those differences are. And then by the end of the lesson, you should be able to come back to what you um, wrote down and see if it was accurate. So, two types of circuit, series and parallel. What do they mean? If you look at this circuit, this is a series circuit, which means that all of the components are connected one after another one. So if you look here, this is connected to the bulb and then the next bulb, and then you have this connecting wire that is connected to the main power supply. So each of these are connected end to end. However, if you look here in a parallel circuit, you've got the switch, you've got your first bulb connected to your power pack, and then you have a second bulb, which is opposite to the first one. So they're in parallel, they're not in series. So in a series circuit, all the components are connected end to end, one after another one. Just like if you were watching a TV series, you watch them one after another. Uh, this makes a simple loop for current to flow. So here is a annotated circuit diagram which using the symbols. So these are your three bulbs. You will see there is a uh, power supply here to annotate the circuit you are seeing in this picture. Now, the issue with CV circuit is that if, say, we call them bulbs A, B, and C, if any of these bulbs was to stop working, then the whole circuit would not work. So if bulb A goes out of action, then B and C will also go out of action. Or if it's B or C, any of these bulbs will not to work, the whole circuit will become incomplete circuit because the current can no longer flow. Um, so that doesn't make it as useful in that sense, but they are simple um, to operate and use. Um, now, another way to know if something is in a CV circuit, you always have an ammeter fitted in a CV circuit, which measures current and is measured in amps. Um, on the other hand, if you were to look at a parallel circuit, uh, they are connected side by side. Uh, the current has an alternative path. So say this is bulb A and that's bulb B. If bulb A was to stop working, your bulb B will still work. Now, the reason being, in this circuit, the current has two ways to flow. So the current can flow this way and the current can also flow this way so it has a two-way system so if the first circuit stops working um, then the circuit the second circuit will continue to work so that's the reason um, this is a parallel circuit now like i said to you in the last um, diagram if it's a cv circuit you will find an ammeter and if it's a parallel circuit you will have a voltmeter so voltmeter is only found in a parallel circuit. It measures the voltage or the potential difference in watts. And like I said, this here was an ammeter measuring the current in amps. Um, so this, they're, they're the other features you can use to distinguish. So if bulb A goes out, B still works, or if B goes out, the A still works because it's a two-part or two-way system. There's a different route for the current to flow. Um, here are some annotations of how you will draw one and how will you use the symbols to draw one. So you will see that I've used one bulb in the series and I've done two and then the other way around. Now, just to finish off, finally, um, series in parallel would it be better for you to have christmas tree lights in a series or parallel circuit and why so if you look in the top one this they are in series if you look at the bottom one they are in parallel so think about if any one of these bulbs were to go out in action 
what will happen to the rest of your Christmas lights. So which one will be better, series or parallel? Pose and think. And secondly, the lights in your house, do you think they're connected in series and parallel and how would you know? So again, if you was to put the lights downstairs, does the lights upstairs automatically come on or do you have different switches? So there's something to think about. So this uh, uh, quick video was about how to distinguish your series and parallel circuits. Um, I've gone through how would you know if something is a series or a parallel circuit. Um, it shows you the different components in the circuits as well. And mainly, we, like we said, if um, a bulb goes out in a series, um, the whole circuit becomes incomplete, the current can't flow. Whereas if it's a parallel, it's a two-way circuit. So the current still flows despite uh, a bulb or something stops working in one of the circuits. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.